Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is the Mental Wellness Channel with Wayne. If you're new here, I hope that you stick around and take a listen to what I have to share. Today, I want to talk about how recovery works. Let's get into it. If you're new here, hi, I'm Wahiga. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I've been in recovery for six and a half years. And I want to talk about how recovery works. I know a lot of people think that recovery is shrouded in secrecy and that is something that I just want to unpack. I'm a person who is very open about my struggles with alcoholism and I'm someone who also wants to make the process of recovery very public. It's something that I struggle with for a long time. A lot of people saw me struggle with alcoholism, active addiction. And now that I'm sober, thank God by the grace of God, I want to open up and tell people how recovery works. First step in recovery is to admit that you have a problem and that your life is unmanageable. I think we've all heard this somewhere. Hi, my name is Wahiga, I'm an alcoholic and my life is unmanageable. That point alone just makes me surrender and makes me truly know who I am. I'm an alcoholic, meaning I don't have any control whatsoever over the substance alcohol. My whole drinking career from when I was 10, 15, 18 was to try to get back to the buzz, the original buzz, the tipsy feeling I used to have when drinking in the earlier days. But the more I drank, the more I used alcohol, the more that feeling went away. And the more I went from being sober to drunk. There was no in-between, there was no tipsy place, there was no space of being buzzed. It was zero to a hundred real quick. And my intention was never to get drunk. I know a lot of people looking at alcoholics think like, oh my gosh, these people just want to drink all day and get drunk all day and that's all they want to do. Uh, no, I actually didn't like being drunk because you lose control. You lose control of your body, you end up saying and doing things that you don't want to do. You end up not remembering, you lose hours and hours of time. So my goal as a drunk was always to get as tipsy as possible and maintain. My problem was that I developed alcoholism and now I couldn't get tipsy. So that in-between zone was completely gone. And every time I picked up a drink, I went from zero to a hundred, zero to a hundred, sober to drunk. And I spent about 10 years telling myself it wasn't always like this. it wasn't always like this but i i used to be able to drink normally i used to be able to drink like a normal person what happened i used to be able to go out drink have fun and come back home with everybody else i used to be able to go out drink party the night away and then go to school the next day so what happened i spent like 10 years in denial about where my drinking had actually developed and what it had developed into. So the first step of recovery, and I've told you about this, is surrender, but also honesty. Honesty about who you are. If you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic. I know a lot of people think that, oh, <clears throat> the word alcoholic has such a bad connotation. Alcoholism gets such a bad rep in the world. But to me, admitting that I was an alcoholic, was it was such freedom. People used to call me an alcoholic when I was drinking and I found it to be the biggest diss. I found it so insulting. I used to be so angry when people used to call me an alcoholic. Ironically, the day I embraced the fact that I was an alcoholic was the day that I was separated from alcohol. And it's the day that I got sober. Six and a half years ago. So number one, honesty. That's how it works. That's how recovery works. Number two, open-mindedness. You've got to be open-minded. And as alcoholics, we are known to be very rigid in our ways. If you know an alcoholic, you know this about us. We like routines, we like predictability, we like schedules, and we run very well on being on schedule. What we don't do well on is flexibility. We're not good on flexibility. We're not good on staying in the present. We're not good on go with the flow. We're not good on that at all. So when I got to recovery and I was told, oh, you need to throw out everything that you thought you knew, throw it all out and basically start processing things a new way. I was like, huh? 
like the only thing i was able to admit and surrender to was the fact that i was an alcoholic that was all i was willing to say okay yeah here you guys have got me i'm an alcoholic i can't do it i can't manage it i've tried every single way to get this thing under control and i can't and i'm dying in the process but everything else no my beliefs in god who god is spirituality if you're gonna give me any rules or suggestions i'm not gonna take it because i know how life goes and life has been going quite quite well for me so of course by the time you're reaching recovery your life isn't really going well and you as an alcoholic think that you know everything you know everything we are those types of people we think we know absolutely everything and we have these ideas on how we're gonna get sober we know exactly what program we need we don't need any guidance we just know how everything works we are those people who know everything and yet we are the broke people we are sitting at home with no jobs begging you to give us money to go drink so i had to admit okay fine my life is unmanageable at the end of the day i'm the one at the time who i haven't finished college I'm a college dropout. I don't make my own money. I'm an adult yet I'm acting like a teenager. There's something wrong with my life. Like I need help. So I was willing to accept that I didn't know anything or I didn't know everything at least. And from that point on, I was able to accept the 12 steps of recovery, which helped me to undo all the things I thought I knew about life all the things and the ways i thought that life worked out and it's funny because my best thinking got me into rehab my best thinking got me into recovery that's where my best thinking got me into so a lot of people will say oh my gosh alcoholics are really intelligent people we are i'm not despiting that but at the same time we are not that intelligent in the sense that we don't have that much self-awareness we can be very selfish very selfish and very self-centered and we live in extremes right and if things don't go our way lord help you <clears throat> we will burn the whole town down the only way i could learn about open-mindedness was through pain as alcoholics we learn about life and we learn through experience of pain as an alcoholic you can't sit with someone and tell them okay guys like i really want to save you the next 20 or 30 or 40 years of like ruining your life and wasting a lot of money and wasting a lot of medical bills and going through a lot of physical and emotional and spiritual pain let me just tell you right now you're an alcoholic and you need help so go to rehab and accept these 12 steps just get yourself help right now no 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 we the alcoholic we only learn through pain pain a lot of pain and i'm no exception i've learned through pain so open-mindedness that's how i've learned through pain pain humbles us and the third thing is willingness we have to be willing in recovery you have to be willing if you're not willing to do the work if you're not willing to be open-minded if you're not willing to be honest you have nothing in recovery. If you're not willing to show up for meetings, if you're not willing to show up for your recovery, if you think that you're coming to recovery for your parents so that you can get into your trust fund when you're 21, good luck. This is gonna be a really long journey for you. If you're in recovery for anyone except yourself, it's not gonna work out great. The recovery space really shows that clearly. There are a lot of people who should be in recovery right now but they're not there why not because they're not willing they're either not willing or are in denial about their drinking there are many alcoholics who are in bars right now there are many functional alcoholics who think that they're keeping their drinking together you know just one paycheck at a time but they're actually not they really need to get sober a lot of people who need recovery need to be in recovery are not in recovery. Why? Because recovery only works for the people that do it, the people that show up, and you have to be willing. I thought I'd tell you just three principles about how recovery works. You have to be honest, you have to be open-minded, and you have to be willing. If you don't have those three things, you don't have recovery. I don't know what you're doing. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Are you someone in recovery? If not, do you know an alcoholic? How is life going with that person? Let me know in the comments down below. Until the next video, bye-bye.